hey, look, click-based tracking is going to be biased. And so we're very willing to look at other methodologies that might have other and different biases, but it's not like we're addicted to that. That being said, the phenomenon that you're talking about, I have also seen in lots of founders and marketers that have come up in the digital tracking world where they say, oh, I don't know, you know, I can actually see the click on the Facebook ad and therefore I know that it's working. But the problem is that that click doesn't mean that it's working, right? Just because there's a click or just because there's an impression doesn't mean that 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 ad actually caused the person to make a conversion. The, the branded search example is the one that people always come back to that I think is very obvious for people and it resonates, which is if someone is searching for your brand, right, they're searching for Harry's razor on Google. If they click that first paid search ad, does that, did that paid search ad cause them to, to buy the razor? Well, probably not. They already knew about the brand. They were clearly they clearly wanted to go to Harry's website based on their activity. And so if you say like, oh man, we had to pay, you know, two dollars for that click, we've got a great ROI though, because they always convert. It's like, well, not really, because most of that spend probably isn't incremental. And so that logic makes a lot of sense in branded search, but it's also true in, in Facebook. Not all of your Facebook clicks are driving incremental conversions. Facebook is really, 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 really good at showing ads to people who are already very likely to convert. And that, that part of the sentence, already very likely to convert, means that not every one of those clicks is truly incremental because they were going to convert anyway, or at least some portion of them were. And so once you sort of get that lesson into your mind that a click is not, does not mean that it is 100% incremental, that it, that, that advertising property alone actually drove the conversion. Well, then you start to question everything and then your mind can open up to this idea that, well, maybe clicks aren't, aren't everything. And we actually need to think about true incrementality through experiments, through other methodology that can lead us to actually make good decisions for the whole business, which requires thinking about this incrementality question.